Hi. Right, I've done the, I think I've done Somerset for a while, or at least from the, photo, from the few photos I took. Uh, go back to uh, a rocky stream. I, I, we all seem to like like those. I, I don't know any rocky streams within striking distance of my house. I know, I know River Wandle, but there are very few rocks in that. Concrete rocks, maybe. Uh, probably need to go to Devon, North, Col uh, North Wales, Scotland for that. But uh, it's great fun making them up. Uh, Stephen Cronin does does them quite often, and they're always enjoyable to watch. So I'm going to do another one. Right, okay. So I wet the paper all over. To make it quite effective, you really need a, a good light source coming through uh, to get the contrast and the drama of the painting. So a two inch hake, 130 pound Fabiano cold pressed paper. Blocks of a hundred from Curtis Ward or um, Grantham's Art Discount, that's where I buy most of my paper from. Now, these are Cotsman watercolours, so we'll put in a bit of, bit of raw sienna. I've kept my, my paints overnight in a, in a, uh, a stay wet palette, keeps them lovely and moist. Soak the uh, kitchen paper underneath first. No, that's drying out. It's very, very warm now. So uh, this will probably be the last one I'll do today. It's too, too warm to paint. The paper dries too quickly. So we'll put in a bit of, let's have a bit of light red, a bit of, a uh, bit of ultramarine, so just get Concentrate the light in the middle. This is what Stephen does. This is what I do as well. And we'll let that sort of dry. I don't want to use any paints grey in that. I don't want to deaden it. Let's just get this. It's the reds that I want. Okay. That'll do. Now we'll put a bit of a background in. So a bit of bit of sienna, burnt sienna. There's a bit of. Bit of this, a bit of that. Just going to clean out a little bit of that. I'm going to put a bit of, bit of that cloud colour in there. A bit more burnt sienna. Okay, we'll put in some. Uh, it's a nice uh, burnt umber. That, that is going to dry. Burnt umber is the fastest drying colour on the palette, especially in oil. I'll so just get in a bit, bit of background, a bit of nice blue. Not mixing the colours too much. Got that in there. Man. And we'll put in some I like using a rigger for this no, not rigger, the, the brush like this because it it does make a good chisel edge. And it just be the uh, Going off in the distance, they're going to be more blue. Or they can even be yellow ochre and, and yellow. That makes a nice colour, cool colour. Okay, so let's, right, let's just reflip that. And put in some nice greeny blue. the rocky stream. It's a nice raw colour, look at that. Lovely lush woody colours. 
some darks in there. Could I, oh, I'm going to scrape out the rocks with this. And we'll just do that here. Slightly different from one side to the other. Got nice, almost neat. Put a bit of, bit, of, bit of blue in there. Okay, try to create an air of mystery, this sort of stuff. Don't let the picture do all the talking. Leave something for the imagination to, to put in. Nice blue. Okay, nice. Lift out some of this. Right, let's get some nice green in here. You can see the paint paper's drying now, so it's taking a bit of dry brush. Okay, let's get a card. And we'll just start to etch out a few rocks in. Okay, nicely overdone. And we'll put some, some in here, just catching a bit of light on the top. Scrape out some branches, some uh, grasses. We can do the same over here. We can put in some later on in darker paint with the rigger. Right. Um, some light coming in through there. Right, let's put in some, yeah that's right, I'll just dry it off a little bit. I want to put some heavier trees in now. Whoops, turn on. So that's got a bit obvious there, so I'm going to sort of paint that out with a bit of blue, I think, over that, just a bit of dry brush. Right. Okay, nice dark, so burnt umber and ultramarine. So I will have you could do so much of this with a with a hake. Okay we can put more blue as we come into the distance. Don't want too many of these, it, a little goes a long way.
Okay, well that's a drawing. I'll do a few over here, you know, and then I'll. Uh, Nice of tapering towards the, the middle of the painting to keep you keep you in in the screen. Right, putting a bit of, bit of shadow in. I'm going to um, lift out a bit of um, the trees just to make a So a bit of light catching, catching them. Uh, that's this. So we're we'll, we'll going to do this left-handed. Let's just. Just to make a bit of um, variety to the, the flatness of that wash. Okay, right, we're going to put a bit of detail in the foreground and we'll just think about the figures. Right, oh, where's my figure? Per number paints and ultramarine. Hold your brush at the tip so you've got more of an impressionist random twig. It's just a bit of a... I might put some, some leaves on this and Autumn leaves. What shall I do now? Now the way to do that is to dry your brush. So I get loads of points. Stick it in the water and just
That's the easy way to do it. Let's cover some of that up there. Wow, nice. Ochre. Bit of cabin yellow in there as well, why not? Fetch your colour. Okay. Some figures now. Got my number four sable. When I find my When you squeeze your brush, don't pull the hairs of your hapers, or it will all fall out. Okay, so let's have a couple of figures up, up here. So, go on ahead. I'm going to have a nice. I'll use a red from my palette here. I'll use the vermilion. Which I like. I've got a nice blue one on the other side. Nothing obvious. Okay, the head's just a little bit too big. Let's just get a bit more brighter red in there. A thicker. Okay, that'll do. Let's just put a little bit of a... Okay, so there's... You might see a bit of a shadow reflection of, of these trees here so we'll put them in uh, that'll do that'll... okay that's all I'm going to do today it's just too warm so I've given you a quickie there, just make them up as you go along, uh, put it in a mount, let's put that on there, I'm going to spend some time doing the figures, figure practice, I hope I improve, uh, right, mount going on, oh no, let's use the light mount, because it's a dark, darkish picture. So there we are, let's, oh, I'll give it a signature. Okay, that's okay. I think if you try to define things, like rocks and, and trunks and so on, rather than paint them quickly like I did, you, you'll make a rock for your own back. You'll never be as good as you want to be. Well, not in the Impressionist uh, type of painting. Uh, You've got to make it look as if as if I could do it. That's the the whole thing. There's there's nothing difficult about that other than leaving out all the detail. And just making suggestions here and there with these little twigs coming out of the branches. Those stippled leaves. Um, this this bit of bright through the middle. They're just they're just bits of composition things. Uh, so we've got we've got the mystery looking into the depth of the, the wood either side of this rocky stream or, or path. I'm not going to say what it is. Uh, probably I could just lift a little bit of that out. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I'll put a little bird in as well, I think. Uh, let's just break that up a little bit. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Uh, that head is just too big, so you have to be careful of that. I'll sign it. Uh, this is a number one or something, I don't know. 
I don't use it for very much, other than signing. You can always use a black acrylic marker pen. Okay, there we are. Got a background. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let's. Uh, Well, I'm reasonably really happy with that. Have a go at these sort of things, be inventive, make things up, be creative. If you work for photographs, don't copy the photographs unless you want to do an exact copy. There are some painters that are that good. Um, Smoothie is one of those. Smoothie 77, 77? Have a look at this stuff if you want to go further with the detail because he is a past master at drawing and trans transposing from a photograph to a piece of watercolour paper, doing a drawing and then colouring it in is absolutely ma magical. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching folks and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.